What's up guys, Speed Phenom here. Welcome back to the Shelby Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm gonna explain why I have a 2014 Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Now, if you can recall back in the last video with the Super Snake, it consisted of lots of burnouts, power sliding, and that kind of tears up the car, makes it really dirty. So what better way to start it off than cleaning it off? So today I'm gonna to test out my brand new DI water system. Say hello to your solution for the nightmares of washing a car. You got the DI nice water system, leaves no spots. Gonna go ahead and use this on the Super Snake, get it all spotless clean and ready for more burnout donut action. You gotta be the only Super Snake on YouTube that does donuts. Seems I got a flat tire. Okay, so we're inside of the Super Snake right now. You got the Carroll Shelby signature right there. You got the signature edition mats on the bottom. Got my boost gauges right up here. You got boost, fuel, and then oil pressure. Getting straight to the topic of this video, I really have to go back, give you context of who I am really and my standpoint behind the Shelby GT500s, the high horsepower American muscle cars. So growing up, I've always been an off-road guy. I go to Akatia Wells, I go to Glamis, Sandus, everything like that. I've always been focused on the off-road scene, dirt bikes, all that kind of stuff. I really never had a high performance car. I'd always watch the Fast and Furious movies, The Getaway, Gone in 60 Seconds, all those drive fast kind of movies. And out of the ordinary, how I first came across the GT500 was on my local marine base. I was driving and I pulled up to the used car lot. I call it the lemon lot. And on that lot, I saw a Mustang that really caught my eye. And it was a 2007, I believe, alloy metallic gray with black striped Shelby GT500. It was a cool looking car. The car is in amazing shape and I believe the owner was trying to sell it because of a result of a divorce between her and her husband and she didn't quite know how to drive a manual so she was selling the car for a pretty low asking price. After seeing that car, I really got hooked on it. Anyways, moving on a couple weeks, the Need for Speed movie came out and a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. That movie was focused on a custom built Mustang. They referenced Carroll Shelby. He was the last one he was gonna build before he died. And the cool part was the engine and stuff was based off the GT500. So that movie really got me hyped up about the Shelby's, the Shelby Mustangs. I thought they were really, really cool. So after watching that movie, the same day, I pulled up to my local Ford dealership, started asking the guy that worked there about the GT500s, and that's when he recommended to me about the newer ones, the 2013-14 with the 5.8 liter V8. this conversation he essentially mentioned don't buy that one the 2007 if I was gonna get a GT500 and I was in your shoes I would go for the 2013-14 model year and why I asked him he then went on saying it had 662 horsepower which at that time was the highest horsepower American car that had ever been made and was available to the public so from this discussion, I decided to focus on getting a 2014 Shelby GT500, the 662 horsepower version of the Mustang. Now this was in March, April of 2014, and it was the last year of the 2014 Shelby GT500. It was gonna end, the production was coming to an end. So after looking at over two dozen dealerships in SoCal, I finally found one, a brand new black on black 2014 Shelby GT500 sitting there in the showroom. Literally, I was hanging out there for an hour checking out the car after I found out they had it. And the very next day, we were proud owners of a brand new 2014 black GT500 performance pack, track pack, 
all the bells and whistles. I still remember driving off that dealership lot and the salesman yelling out, be careful, this car has some bite. Fast forward three days and we were doing donuts in a mall parking lot. This car was freaking amazing. The adrenaline that pumps through your body when you accelerate, launch, and perform pulls is breathtaking. Now that I was a proud owner of a Shelby, like all new Shelby enthusiasts, I started looking up various online forums, clubs, associations on the internet, and we found literally around a week after getting this car, they were holding a Mustang 50th anniversary at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So we decided to hit the road and head to this event. It was a complete spur of the moment decision. Crazy road trip in a brand new 662 horsepower beast. We had a blast driving across the desert and we finally show up at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And when we showed up, cars were lined up in every direction. As we turn into the first entrance to the speedway where all the other Mustangs were lined up, at this point I had no idea what the heck was going on. Next thing you know, all the Mustangs are driving through an underground tunnel, revving up their motors. There had to have been at least a couple hundred cars. Next thing you know, I realize I'm front and center about to follow the pace car around Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It was completely bizarre. It, it's hard to even explain what happened. All I know is that it made for one heck of a memory and is some footage. We actually backed off in the pace car a little bit so we could attack the straightaways at full throttle. At one point, I believe the car got close to 150 miles per hour. Now, you may be going like, hey, Speed Phenom, this is all cool stuff, but the title of the video is why I got a Super Snake. Well, when I was in Vegas at this 50th Mustang anniversary celebrating Mustang, I saw my first Shelby Super Snake in person. And then I was recommended to check out the brand new Shelby American factory in Las Vegas. This visit to Shelby America is actually where we first got to learn a great deal about what the Super Snake was and how they were built. To put it in a short couple sentences, when someone tells you they can take your 662 horsepower Shelby Mustang and make it up to 850 horsepower, your ears perk up. The amount of horsepower they're putting into these cars, remember, this is well before the Hellcat and or Dodge Demon, uh, C7 Corvette ZR1, and newer ZL1s, this is almost five years ago. And getting a Ford Mustang to 850 horsepower with a warranty was crazy. Over time, I got the chance to transform the GT500 to a Shelby Super Snake. Originally, I had ordered for the wide body option, so the normal GT500 Super Snake with the wide body kit, but after I ordered the car and I actually gave them the vehicle, a couple weeks later, they announced the Signature Edition variant. And with that variant, you can't have the wide body kit. Well, initially, that's what they had said. So the order changed from a wide body kit to the 1000 horsepower upgrades. And honestly, I can't imagine doing it a different way after I've witnessed what the car is like when it's fully built by Shelby American. Over the next couple of years, this car has completely changed my life. The experiences it has given me are priceless. Done anything from racing Persians in hashtag Mexico, been to racetracks, done dozens, dozens, if not hundreds of burnouts, donuts, tire shredding, using the car for what it's meant to do. The reason I own this car is for the experiences it gives me. The reason I own this car is to experience life at the edge of my seat. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to comment down below what you think. Smash that like button and subscribe for more great content. Also, share the video. See y'all in the next one.